What's the best tire cleaner? Well, you're about to find out by watching this video. So what's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Pan the Organizer. So I'm filming this in the beginning of March, 2024. So we're still in the winter months here in Montreal, Canada. So a lot of rain, some snow, some sleet, some road grime, traffic film, mud, a bunch of dirt. So my girlfriend's vehicle is our test vehicle for today's video. Uh, and so you want to reset every now and then those tires to get them back to that OEM state. So remove a lot of that road film or traffic film, the grime, and the browning antioxidants. So a lot of the anti-ozonites that are included in the rubber have a tendency to migrate to the top of the rubber, and when they're in contact with the oxygen and water, they tend to oxidize or kind of rust if you want. Uh, so that oxidation leads to browning or blooming. So you want to remove all that. And also, before applying your new tire dressing or your tire coating, you want to make sure that your tire is fully prepped back to the bare rubber, so that way your new dressing or coating has a better surface to bond to, leading to longer longevity, better performance, uh, and also a lot less of that tire sling. So those black dots that fly over the paint, we don't want that, right? So tire prep is everything. So for your regular maintenance washes, I featured a lot of good wheel and tire cleaners. So a two-in-one type combo that do a great job. So products like Maniac Line Wheel and Tire Cleaner, the uh, Turtle Wax, this is their base green product, wheel and tire cleaner. I've done battle videos on all these if you want to refer to them uh, later on. I can leave those linked in the description. Uh, the Adams Polishes wheel and tire cleaner. And last but certainly not least, one of my favorite wheel and tire cleaner combos. This is PNS Brake Buster. So these four products are all, uh, again, tire and wheel cleaners, but sometimes you want something more powerful and more dedicated uh, exclusively for use on rubber tires. And that's why today we're having a battle of two specific tire cleaners. So their main duty is just that. So a classic on my channel, if you've been following me for a while now. So the current King, which is CarPro Retire. And the uh, newcomer, so a brand that's been there for a little over a year at this point, I'm very, uh, very happy with the products that I've been testing from their lineup so far. And it's the Armor Detail Supply Tire Cleaner. So can this newcomer beat a staple uh, in the industry? So the uh, Car Pro Retire, you're gonna find out. We're gonna put them to the test. We're gonna come back and talk about their features, uh, their chemistry as well, things like pH level, what makes them good, their trigger sprayers, what's the difference, uh, of course, the price, the value, and we're gonna have to determine a winner. So before we dive deep into the specs, uh, the value and all that kind of stuff, we're gonna put them to the test because the first order of business, well, if one of these two doesn't perform well, well, you can chuck it to the garbage and the automatically uh, the other one wins. Oh, and quick disclaimer, this is not a sponsored video. Nobody paid for this video. Uh, and also I'll leave the links to all the tools, products, and equipment in the description under the video for you guys to check everything out. So all you have to do is sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Uh, also, when we're going to be spraying these on, we need to agitate uh, with a brush. So there is no such thing, at least to my knowledge, as a touchless tire cleaner. So you're going to have to agitate. That's what gets the job done. Uh, and I'm using one of my favorite tire-specific brushes. This is the Detail Factory Tire Brush with these stiff nylon bristles. They make an Excel version if you have uh, even larger uh, profile sidewalk wall tires. So I'll leave everything linked again in the description. So uh, yeah, let's dive into that demo. Okay, so here we have our dirty wheel and tire. We're going to focus on the tires for the time being, obviously for this video. So they both have the same instructions. We're going to pre-rinse to remove the loose dirt and debris first. We're going to spray on the surface, let them dwell for roughly 30 seconds. We're going to scrub and agitate, rinse the whole tire down, and we're going to then dry the tire and we're going to compare. So one half with one product, the other half with the other product. So let's go ahead. All right, let's take our brush. Get that wet too. So on the left-hand side, we're going to start with Car Pro's Retire. This is a foaming type trigger sprayer. So a few sprays on the brush itself. Have to start to get a lot of that coverage. There we go. And on the right hand side, we're going to have the Armor Detail Supply Tire Cleaner. So both of them have foaming action. Try and get even coverage as much as possible. All right. So now we can tell 
On the CarPro side, it's already pulling a lot of browning. Obviously, we started with this one. I'm also seeing some browning being pulled here on the right-hand side. So both are doing a great job. All right, we're gonna rinse our brush. Three sprays with the Armor Detail Supply, just like we did for the CarPro retire. Let's brush this side. All right, let's rinse our brush. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna rinse the tire and we're going to reapply both halves. And what we want to see the second round is some white foam indicated that they both did their job, uh, ideally with the single pass. All right, so second pass now, see if the foam stays white. So let's start with CarPro retire. Right, and then on the other half, we're going to do armor detail supply tire cleaner. Make sure we get even coverage. Okay, so the brush is clean. Let's start with the CarPro retire side, and we can immediately tell white foam, so it did the job with the first pass. Let's rinse the brush. Okay, and now the armor detail supply side. So immediately here too, white foam. I'm not seeing any browning left. So great job on the first pass for the ADS as well. All right, let's rinse the brush. Final rinse, we're gonna dry and we're gonna observe the results. So what do you guys think on camera? So again, this here was the CarPro retire side. So uh, it seems to have done a great job. It was all removed the dirt, grime and gunk with the first pass because the second pass was all white with foam. And on the right hand side here, we had the Armor Detail Supply Tire Cleaner. This one too did a great job removing all the dirt, the grime, the browning, the blooming uh, with the first pass. Second pass was a white foam again. So from what I can tell, both sides are identical. Hopefully you can tell the same results. Uh, what do you guys think? For those of you who have tried both, do you get similar results? Um, yeah, I'm seeing just a perfect tire. If I'm looking at both sides, there's no dirt, there's no grime left. That's it, beautiful, even finish. I don't see any browning or blooming left. It looks pretty nice. And this is a tire that's perfectly ready to receive a tire dressing or tire coating. But the main question is, is there a winner between these two? We're gonna to have to talk about their specs, what differentiates them, and uh, some other cool aspects as well, including value for money. So guys, as you saw in the demo, between these two, it seems to be a wash performance-wise. Um, so there must be other things to help us determine a winner, right? Because they both did a great, great job at removing the previous tire dressing that was on there. Uh, the road film, the grime, the muck, the dirt, the mud, uh, and of course the uh, browning antioxidants um, or the anti-ozonites as some call them as well. So um, yeah, both with a single pack which is important for a tire cleaner. You want it to be powerful enough. So let's dive into the differences between both. So first of all, if we look at the Armor Detail Supply Tire Cleaner, this, according to the MSDS sheet, uh, or the SDS sheet is a pH level between 12 and 14. Uh, I spoke with a DJ over at uh, Armor Detail Supply uh, and he says, yeah, it depends. It's roughly a pH 12 um, up to 14 once again. Same thing for the CarPro Retire, by the way. We're gonna talk about this in just a few seconds, but this one too is between pH 12 and 14. So both of them are highly alkaline and it's important to go ahead with the degreasing properties and for the specific task that they have. Um, if we look at price in this one, first 
first of all, if you get the 16 ounce version like this, uh, this one here comes ready to use and it's a one to two dilution in there. So keep that in mind. This is already pre-diluted, ready to use. If you get the gallon format, that is highly concentrated and that one can be diluted uh, one to one, one to two, up to one to four for different uses. So for the gallon form, if you have extreme duty use, extreme grime, extreme dirt, or potentially some uh, heavy solvent based old dressings that you want to remove from your tires, you'd go for that one to one dilution ratio. Uh, one to two is for some uh, heavy duty tire cleaning still. So uh, a lot of dirty stuff like we had here, that was perfect for the 16 ounce as well, which is already pre-diluted one and two. Uh, and then you have for just your regular maintenance for your lighter duty, you can dilute up to one and four. So the cool thing about the gallon size, once again, concentrated, many dilutions possible. Uh, and by the way, you can use this product depending on which dilution you want uh, on uh, tires, engine bay, your uh, plastic and rubber floor mats, your inner plastic fender wells, so on and so forth. So many uses uh, for this one. Now, if we look at the price, the 16 ounce currently in March, 2024, the price is, um, we're looking at $10.99 US for a 16 ouncer and it's $15.99 Canadian. So uh, this comes down to 69 cents per ounce. And if we look at the gallon form, it is $44.99 US at the moment of this filming for a gallon size. Uh, I haven't found a gallon size in Canada, but the gallon comes uh, down to uh, almost half the cost at 35 cents US per ounce. So quite inexpensive for what it is. It's very versatile. Now let's compare it to CarPro Retire. This one here, as we said, same pH levels on both of them, 12 to 14, so highly alkaline on the upper end of that uh, pH scale. This one too is a dedicated tire and rubber cleaner. This one here, the difference uh, compared to the Armor Detail Supply, it has a foaming style trigger sprayer. So the good part is that foaming will cling on to the tire, although this one from uh, Armor Detail Supply also foams nicely, but obviously the thicker foam is this one, so it's more clingy. But the purpose also from having it foam like that, it's uh, it doesn't have that kind of micro spray uh, or overspray that's in the air with a caustic kickback or that fume uh, that you inhale. So that was one of the goals of having that foam stick onto the um, the surface itself. So I think that's kind of cool that they did that with the, uh, the CarPro. Uh, if we look at price. Oh yeah. One negative though of the uh, foaming trigger sprayer is that you're wasting a lot more product. You're going to go through a lot more uh, of this and there's no instructions for dilution uh, on their bottles. Uh, but you can get this in a, um, this one here is a 16.9 ounce uh, or a 500 milliliter version. They have one liter and they have four liters. So they have three different product offering sizes for this one. So for the 500 mil or 16.9 ounces, you're looking at $17.99 US at the moment of this recording. Uh, and in Canada, you're looking at roughly $22 Canadian for this size. Uh, it comes down to about a dollar and six cents per ounce. So very, uh, well, a lot more expensive compared to the Armor Detail Supply, right? Uh, even if we go to the four liter offering, you're looking at $74.99 US for those four liters. That's roughly 135 ounces. Uh, and in uh, Canada, you're looking at roughly 94 Canadian dollars. So this comes down to 56 cents per ounce in the bigger size uh, compared to 35 cents per ounce in the bigger size of the Armor Detail Supply. So Armor Detail Supply, much less expensive. So it takes it uh, for that. And by the way, Retire also has some versatile use. So it's not only used as a tire cleaner, but you can use it as a wheel cleaner, uh, especially on clear coated OEM wheels. Um, but yeah, make sure you read all the uh, instructions on which uh, wheels you can use this for. I wouldn't recommend it as a wheel cleaner, by the way. It's just that it can potentially be used that way. Uh, you can use it on engine bays as well. You can clean your rubber and plastic floor mats with this. So just like the Armor Detail Supply, it is very versatile. So uh, yeah, they're both versatile in use. Uh, again, this foaming uh, type trigger is meant to have less atomization of the liquid inside there. And so uh, you have more clinging foam, no, no strong caustic feed back uh, kickback to breathe on this. Although with this one too, it's nothing as nasty as some cleaners and APCs and degreasers. Uh, both of these, by the
the way, are much stronger than APCs for that job because people often ask, uh, can I just use an APC to clean the tires? You can, but if you have some heavy dirt and grime or a more tenacious tire dressing that you want to remove, they have their limits, those APCs. Uh, and I've seen in a video, I had the um, Optimum Power Clean, all-purpose cleaner degreaser in there compared to the uh, more powerful wheel and tire cleaners like the uh, PNS Brake Buster and the Adams Wheel and Tire Cleaner and the Turtle Wax Wheel and Tire Cleaner. And they all did better compared to the APC. Uh, so keep that in mind. But for your regular maintenance, yeah, APC should be fine as well. But if you need that heavier duty use, which is the purpose of this video, we're looking for tire specific cleaners so we can go and uh, remove that deep grime, all of the previous dressings with minimal effort and remove a lot of that browning and uh, anti-ozonite staining on the tires or that blooming. So these do a lot better job. If I look at uh, CarPro's own lineup, for example, they have the Multi-X all-purpose cleaner and their retire is much more effective at cleaning tires compared to Multi-X. Um, so definitely these guys are both stronger than your traditional APCs or even some weaker uh, wheel and tire cleaners. Now there's also um, Shine Supply that uh, they, ha they have their Wise Guy. That's technically a wheel and tire cleaner, but mainly used to clean tires. That too is absolutely amazing. I know a lot of you guys like it. Do you want to see it in a battle? Um, again, some other tire specific cleaners, let me know. And if you have tire specific cleaners that you know perhaps could beat one of these two, I'm curious because I'm always wanting to find out what is the pinnacle of a specific product category. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Is there anyone that you prefer? If you've tested one of these two, which one is your favorite? Um, so it boils down to we got to pick a winner, right? So performance wise, in this test, they were identical. That is given that we have the 16 ounce version of the Armor Detail Supply. This is a ready to use one to two dilution ratio. So one part of product to two parts of water. So it was equal in performance to the CarPro Retire. So if you get the bigger gallon size, as long as you stick to a one to one or a one to two dilution, they're gonna be both identical. But if you dilute the Armor Detail Supply in a one to three or one to four dilution, so you're diluting it even more, then it's not going to perform as well as the CarPro Retire. But if we're comparing apples to apples, either on diluted or in a ready to use format like these two are if you buy them just as they are performance was identical I couldn't tell the difference I'm sure you couldn't uh, I either on camera let me know if you saw a difference if there was any it'd be very very minor at this point so what differentiates them is the trigger sprayer so this one yes foams more and clings on more however you're wasting more products you're going to be blowing through a lot more of this and also the car pro is more expensive so overall if I have to pick a winner based on the overall value because you're using less product it's less expensive and yet just as effective I like to see that right more for your money so I'm going to have to give this battle away to armor detail supply tire cleaner this takes the cake in this one uh, quite impressive a lot of the stuff I used from them up to now is killer I have a full brand review of their products if you want to have an overview if you don't know uh, who they are armor detail supply they made quite a splash in the past year in the detailing scene a lot of my fellow um, youtubers fellow detailers as well absolutely love these so you can find a bunch of reviews uh, online check out their lineup uh, again i'll leave both of them linked in the description under the video uh, check them out you can go wrong if you're looking for a powerful tire cleaner regardless which one you pick sometimes in your countries this might not be available and you might have access to car pro only or the opposite uh, or if you only have access to CarPro know that you're still getting a fantastic product you guys know how much I love this brand everything they make to my eyes is liquid gold or um, the majority of what they make uh, so a very very good top tier brand as I like to call them along with uh, Gion and G Technic these are established but uh, we have these newcomers that are uh, yeah kicking butt there's a lot of new brands that come out to professional detailers right uh, DJ and Bradley, the owners of um, Armor Detail Supply, they worked on their lineup for like three, four, five years before releasing their products. They're very serious. They're two great guys. And uh, again, thumbs up. So the winner, Armor Detail Supply, Tire Cleaner. Share this video with anybody that might uh, enjoy the information. And uh, yeah, I just hope you enjoy this kind of content. If it's the case, smash the thumbs up button. It's important. It shows YouTube that you support the channel. It helps with the algorithm as well. Drop a comment. So which one was your winner? If you've tested one of these two, which is your preferred one. And if you think I should really look into something I haven't tested yet, maybe you know of a tire cleaner that it bests these two. I'm curious, drop a comment. And in the meantime, guys, don't forget, keep it tight, keep it clean, and I'll see you all on the next one.